Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another week in my life. This one is a to-do list edition, so I am going to show you my full weekly plan, my to-do list for every single day for seven days. So I really hope you enjoy this video. It is also sponsored by Brilliant, but I will talk to you more about them later in this video. So for now, we're going to jump to Monday because it is a very busy week. If you were not aware, I make my weekly plan in my bullet journal. I have done for a while now, and it really has changed the game for me with time management, prioritization, and motivation, you name it. But anyways, this is my to-do list for Monday. So something I usually don't write down on my to-do list is my admin, which usually involves a lot of emails, but I did on Monday. So that is exactly what I started with because my inbox is usually overflowing on the first day of the week. And then I started to basically write up some lectures. This was something I was supposed to finish last week, but I just had to complete it this morning. So it wasn't on my to-do list. Look at this brightness. Wow. Mm. That's better. Okay, hey guys, happy Monday. It is just coming up to 9.30 and we actually have a lecture, a live lecture this morning. So I am gonna sit here, hello, what is going on? This is a first. I am gonna sit here in my pajamas, in my dressing gown and like be in a lecture on a Zoom call, but that's fun, right? Anyway, so I need to jump on the Zoom call because I have one minute. Good morning students. Jennifer, I hope I can, um to see if I can uh... I don't know what they're talking about um it hasn't started yet it's basically for my immunology module it's about like multiplex immuno labeling an experimental like technique you see this stuff so it was like timetabled for an hour but it lasted a bit longer than that and to be honest with you i feel like everyone was kind of losing it towards the end even the lecturer was losing it she was skipping lots of slides anyway i replied to youtube comments and that was the last thing i did essentially before i moved away from my desk and i got ready to go on my morning run on today's agenda well like the agenda for this part of my day um I just made a smoothie as we can see i basically need to write up the lecture notes from that lecture we had this morning because that lecture just went on and on and on even the lecturer was losing interest i felt she was just like going through her slides and she was skipping loads of slides because she was like we don't have time for this and i need to rush and i was like oh my gosh it's going on and on i also want to finish our lectures on flow cytometry which are part of like this week but they were uploaded on friday so that we could get a head start and that is really useful the thing is though there are six lectures on flow cytometry and they're like 25 30 minute ish lectures six of them just on flow cytometry it takes like literally up to two hours sometimes doing just one 20 to 25 minute lecture mini lecture and i've said that before it's not even a joke if i do both of those things before dad and i go on a walk this afternoon i'll be very happy but i don't think that's gonna happen but we can we can aim high so i added some of this to my smoothie today this is the vivo life thrive powder and it is so good i forget how good this tastes when i add this i take a b12 supplement because obviously i'm vegan but this also has b12 in it monday and emails just not great because it's like start of a new week <sighs> Okay, let's do these flow cytometry lectures. I'm actually on part six. No, okay, no, don't get your hopes up, Holly. We're actually on part five out of six. So yeah, I started with lecture number five out of six and went through that and then basically got to number six actually as well. Welcome to our last talk of flow cytometry. I've never used flow cytometry in the lab. I've learned about the theory, but I've never learned about it in this much detail. It was honestly crazy. But then I went back to the live lecture that I had this morning because, as I said, I wanted to write up those notes while they were still fresh in my head. <gasps> we going on a walk? Hello, ladies. Good girls. Ah, yes, boy time. Morning. Oh. Good girl. Drop body, give me your toy, and then you can go outside. Go on. 
So the sunset was so pretty this evening. Dad and I went on our new favorite walk. Bali and Java enjoyed themselves as usual. So I've just had lunch and I finished off the lecture notes and I'm gonna do some editing because if I want this video to go up tomorrow, I need to start editing because I have like over two hours of footage, which is very normal. I often have more than that. I do like three rounds of editing. So I need to do the first round hopefully today, going through all the footage and editing to music. With like two hours of footage or something crazy, this can take a long time, but I actually also put a voiceover on the video and that is my second stage of editing. It's quite intense. But anyway, after that, I just did a bit of an ab workout in my room. So it was about 15 minutes, quite intense with my weights, but it was really good. I also rolled out and massaged my foot because I do this having injured it last year. And yeah, I basically moved away from my desk for the evening. I meal prep some brown rice. And the last thing I did was a bit more of the flow cytometry lectures because they were taking ages. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that is everything I achieved. And then here is my to-do list for Tuesday. These are just directly copied out my bullet journal, by the way. Some of the things I had to take off, I've tried to show you everything. I was so happy I finally finished the flow cytometry lectures and I also finished editing this video, which took a long time. This is what I made for my lunch. So it was a bowl of oats. I mixed in some banana and frozen blueberries. And so it turned this really deep purple color and I love the color. And my perfectionism extends into everything because I really didn't like the way I decorated it. So I just dolloped in some almond butter, mixed it all in, and then just basically ate it. I couldn't deal with it anymore. Anyway, after that, I posted on my Instagram, took some time doing that before I had to do some finances and tax related stuff. Oh my gosh, this is not my favorite. Okay, let me take my glasses off for a sec. You know when you've just been staring at a screen and you need to take a break? That is literally me right now. But as I said at the start of this week, this video is sponsored by Brilliant. As a website and an app, Brilliant basically has over 60 problem solving based and interactive courses in like maths, science and computer science. So essentially all of your STEM subjects. As a female myself in science, studying biology, as you guys know, I am always really eager to encourage others to get involved in science subjects and maths, especially girls. And Brilliant basically has incredibly top quality courses in literally everything from like computational biology to cryptocurrency and like astronomy. And biology these days is becoming really like computational and systematic. And so I can use Brilliant to like solve really quite unfamiliar problems through lots of their interactive courses. For example, like those on neural networks works or computational biology as I said before and I mean like aside from biology a lot of us perhaps haven't had the opportunity to study maths at say our own pace but Brilliant basically has courses on everything from like algebra and pre-algebra up to like differential equations and it can even help me learn about like finances and programming which I said to myself I wanted to learn this year. So yeah all that being said if you want to try out Brilliant yourself and I highly recommend you try it because it's honestly so good you need to go to brilliant.org forward slash Holly Gabrielle and you basically sign up for free and the first 200 of you will get 20% off a premium subscription when you sign up using the link down below. So yeah, thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. And so yeah, all of those details are down below as I said, but later on that evening I moved on to doing some lectures for my behavioral science and cancer module on alcohol. We had three mini lectures in total and as I normally do or I do most frequently is I just typed my notes and I did actually manage to get through all three of those so I was really happy because it meant I could move on to doing some more of my assessment. So I had to do a lot of reading for this while I still am doing reading for my assessment essentially. But yeah, that is everything I did that day. Hey guys, good morning. It's Wednesday. It's a rainy day, a very rainy day. It's supposed to rain the whole day. At the moment, I'm going through a phase where I'm not sleeping very well at all. And it's just frustrating, like for the past two weeks now, I've been going to the toilet in the middle of the night every single night at like 5 a.m. And I'm also just not sleeping very well, but I know that it is temporary. Every time I go through one of these phases, I will come out the other side. Um, but anyway, if I do go through these periods, I make sure I get enough sleep. So if the quality of my sleep is not as good, then I will just increase the quantity of sleep that I'm trying to get, or basically just the time that I'm in bed. It helps to kind of semi-balance out. Okay, here we go again. So this is my to-do list for Wednesday. 
As usual, and as I said at the start, I did some admin, but this wasn't on my to-do list because I do this every day pretty much in the morning. And then I firstly started to plan some YouTube videos, so I just did that and then moved on to doing my prep for my journal club on Friday as well as my preparation for my tutorial coming up next week and obviously we were joined by Milka she just has to make her way onto my desk and she'll sit there and she'll work with me but you know sometimes it's a distraction Minnie what are you trying to do? Sit down. Oh, why are you so cute? You like resting your paws on my arm, huh? She's literally like climbing up me right now. I said to Emily I didn't want her in here because I was trying to get on with this reading, but I gave in to this little kitty, huh? So this had been on my to-do list on Tuesday, but I didn't manage to finish it. So I had to basically get through all of my readings that I wanted to do for my assessment. I had loads of tabs open as usual and I just wanted to get through them because they had been there and sitting there for so long. I have honestly felt unstoppable this evening. Like I've done so much reading. I have this 15 page document of all my notes. I was planning to do everything that I got done this evening tomorrow and I've done it all in like the space of four hours this evening. This is all for my assessment coming up. Well, the assessment that we're working on currently. I'm calling it a day right there. We are done. <gasps> What are we doing, Mum? Well, I thought you wanted to start watching the Queen's Gambit. Yeah. So, here we go. Holly. Okay. Oh, is it that? How is it already there? In the male dominated world. Is it scary? Hopefully not. I don't know. Yeah, the Queen's Gambit. It's about chess, apparently. It's a 15. We can deal with that. Okay, so this is everything we achieved on Wednesday. I mean, I prioritized doing my assessment reading, so I was really happy with that. But let's jump to Thursday. In the morning, I had to do some updates for Holly Jumia, which is my online tutoring business. And that was one of the things on my to-do list so I could take it off straight away. I also posted on Instagram and both of those are now live. So you can check out our Instagram page. You can check out the website. Both will be linked down below. Okay, so I'm just about to go on a run. I haven't been yet. It's like eight degrees and that's still really cold, but it's warm relative to what it was like a few weeks ago or like last week or something. But I really miss taking you guys on my runs with my GoPro. The reason why I haven't been doing that recently is because I've been running literally on the roads. There are loads of cars, loads of people. It's really quite busy and I just don't take my GoPro. I only take it when I'm in fields. Like I can't film and look where I'm going and make sure I'm aware of what's going on around me if I take my GoPro. So yeah, that's why I haven't. The last time I ran in a field was when I slipped over and I was like, I'm not doing that again. I think all my new trainers and was like, I'm not running in the fields to get these things dirty. I think I'm gonna do an interval kind of session. So I run fast for like five minutes and then I recover for like five minutes and then I repeat that. I think that's the plan for my run today, but I'm going on one of my usual routes that I do at the moment around the roads and stuff. So. Yeah. Where I stretch out after my run changes all the time. Sometimes it's in my room, like today on my yoga mat, which I think is the best, but sometimes it might be outside in the garage, in the bathroom, who knows where I'll be stretching out, but it is essential after I've been running. And then my main task for the rest of the morning slash early afternoon was to back up my MacBook because I had been putting it off for so long. And I also just had to do some other random stuff. It literally just died. What? Your computer restarted because of a problem. Press a key or wait a few seconds to continue startup. What? I have been meaning to sort out my MacBook and do this backup for such a long time. And my Mac has like crashed twice in the past week. So we seriously need to deal with this. It's like so bad. This is taking ages, but it has to be done. Now, before Thursday turned into a bit of a nightmare, I was working on my essay. And if you would like an essay video, then definitely like this one and I will get that one out to you guys as soon as I can. I also then prepped for tutoring because, you know, it was on my list, I had to get it done, but I ended up having to go to hospital and yeah, so I didn't really plan for that. But it's okay because sometimes you get thrown off a bit and you have to deal with those spontaneous moments. But on Friday I filmed a video and this is my full to-do list for that day. 
I had to register with my GP in the morning, so I spent time dealing with all of that. And then in my journal club later that afternoon, I had a phone call with the nurse at my GP, so I missed a bit of the journal club session. Uh, 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 Holly, <sighs> can I throw the question to you? So just imagine you've got 12,000 papers now. So can what, you can you repeat the questions again? Because I had to take a call literally over those five minutes. I was so thrown off in that lecture because I... That wasn't a lecture. That was a journal club. I had a nurse calling me from the GP and I wasn't given a specific time slot. And I was literally like, they are going to call me in this Zoom call. And they did. It was like 10 minutes into the session. The nurse called me and I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? So I had to take the call and then I came back. And then what happened? I was asked a question and I was like, no, I have no idea what has just been discussed. But the guy who takes this course in our journal clubs is so nice. But yeah, I was just really thrown off. Like this morning, I had to register with my GP because I wasn't registered. This will have already been explained in another video on my channel. But yeah. That was just a bit stressful. I now need to write up some notes from this journal club. And yeah, I filmed a video this morning, so I'm gonna edit that later. As I said, I just wrote up those notes from the journal club and then I moved on to working on my essay again. So I had to make a mind map and this was my plan essentially before I then edited the video that I had filmed. So I just finished editing this video that can go live tomorrow, which is good. Sad times, Emily and I didn't get to do our photo shoot, but it's okay. I just wanted to show you my to-do list for Saturday because I filmed this as a separate vlog, which is on my channel. But let's just jump to Sunday. So this is my official to-do list. This is what we will be working on on this last day of the week. Sad times, I know again. But in the morning, I was working on some lectures that had been released early. So I was getting ahead for next week. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It is snowing this morning. I was literally snowing. No, I wasn't snowing. I was running in the snow and it was so fun. Like it was freezing and I was wearing two layers. I didn't just go out like this. At one point it was really quite heavy and the snowflakes were really quite thick. I felt like I was in a fairy tale. I don't really think it's gonna settle. Let's open the window, but it was a lot heavier at one point when I was running. So yeah, I'm obviously back inside. Oh, Michaela is calling me now. We are doing an ab workout, basically. Do you wanna say hey? Hey! Say hey to the vlog. We are doing a 22 minute ab workout, right? Yes. Michaela is propped up against some clothes. <laughs> so Michaela's workouts never fail to, oh, they really do make you feel the burn. But the game plan was we had 22 different ab exercises and then we did each of them for one minute and we had about a 15 second to 30 second break in between them whilst we just talked about the next exercise because Michaela had planned all of it. You know, she comes super prepared. It was a mixture of non-weighted ab exercises and those that were weighted and I have personally started to use more weights in my workouts and it really does make a difference especially with your abs if you're finding them easy add some weights I mean mine are really light but I still find it makes a big difference so yeah try it out if you want to do that and this is like one of my favorite exercises shoulder stands with a leg raise I just get way too carried away I find it so fun <laughs> On the other hand, one of my least favorite exercises to do is this. Flutter kicks or whatever you want to call them. I actually hate them. Oh, I hate these. I actually hate these. Oh my God, I actually hate those. Yeah, so maybe Michaela and I like different exercises, but you know, it's so fun doing these ab workouts together and also other workouts. Done. Oh. Woo! We did a starfish celebration. That, whoa! Good stuff. That was good. That was good. Okay, in summary, if you have not done a FaceTime workout with a friend, I highly recommend it. They are so much fun and yeah, I just think you should definitely try it out. I then got changed, was at my desk, Milka was trying to sleep. You know.
I will never understand how she can lie there and feel comfortable whilst I'm typing and she's moving all over the place. I just, I just never will understand that. But I had to water my cacti and also Emily's cacti that was on my to-do list for the day. And for my lunch, I basically chopped up a load of salad, so cucumber, pepper, tomatoes, mushrooms. And then I had this leftover, so I made this chickpea thing, or as dad calls it, a speciale the day before. And yeah, I had that with some rice and it was so good. It's just like a leftover lunch. Hey, Milka. Yeah, she's lying in the hot room. This room is so warm. This is where all of the clothes are drying. So it's like super warm in here. I could literally sit in here right now. You know where the warm spots are, don't you, Min Min? So most Sundays I clean my room. I really like to do this at the end of the week because I just reset my room, I whack out the hoover and then I worked a bit more on my essay the evening and I did some editing so that I could post a video on Tuesday the following week and essentially this is my summary from Sunday and then I'm also going to show you all of my other summaries from the previous days because obviously I will have completed other things not on the days themselves but later that week. Just ignore how like messy my hair is right now, but I am calling it a week. I am really impressed with what I got done over these seven days. I mean, there are a few things I didn't get done, but that is why you have next week. So on that note, I am gonna end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think you guys like these to-do list videos, these weekly vlog to-do list videos. Let me know if you do enjoy them so I can make more of them. Definitely like this video, comment down below, subscribe, the usuals, and also check out Brilliant. As I said, I highly recommend the app and website. I think it's so good. So the link is in the description box. But yeah, as always, I will speak to you very soon in another video. And yeah, that's all I really have left to say. <laughs> Bye.